In this video, I will be discussing about Bellman Ford algorithm. It is used to find single source shortest path. Before proceeding with this algorithm, you should be familiar with basic graph terminologies. So if you have any doubts on that, please refer to the suggested video on the top right corner. Now let's see what is this algorithm. Bellman Ford algorithm is used to find shortest path from the source to all other nodes in the graph. So we have seen one more similar algorithm, which was Dijkstra. So Dijkstra works on greedy programming approach, but this Bellman Ford algorithm, it works on dynamic programming approach. So here the problem is divided into smaller sub problems and the optimal solution of the overall problem depends on the optimal solution of its sub problem. So we'll see in the Bellman Ford algorithm, how DP approach is used. So one problem with Dijkstra's algorithm was it doesn't work with graph that has negative edges. But Bellman Ford algorithm has overcome that problem and it works with a graph that has negative edge weights. So if we're given this graph and this edge has negative weights, then Dijkstra will fail in this graph to find the shortest path. Because once the vertex has been marked and visited in Dijkstra, it doesn't revisit it. So if you have any doubts on how Dijkstra's algorithm works, I will add a link of the Dijkstra's algorithm in the top right corner. You can refer to that video if you have any doubts on it. Now an important question arises, what do we mean by negative edge weights? So I will give you an example. So let's say this ABC is a network of cities and a person is there who has to go to all the cities and has to collect some tax. So let's say on these roads, there are some tolls on which he has to pay some amount. So keeping in mind the expenditures that you have to bear like the tolls and the amount of tax that you'll collect, the whole amount for a path can be either positive or negative. So three can be thought of as amount earned and two can be thought of as amount spent. Now, when we're talking about negative edge weights, an important issue can arise, which is negative weight cycles. So negative weight cycle is a cycle with weights that sum to a negative number. So let's say you're given this graph. So if you think of this cycle, B, C, D. So from B to C, the edge weight is two. From C to D, the edge weight is minus four. And from D to B, the edge weight is one. So if you add total, it is minus one. So if you keep on going along this path from B to C and from C to D, the total cost will keep on decreasing. So that is a problem for shortest path algorithms because it will keep reaching to the same point and it will decrease the total cost. So Bellman Ford algorithm helps us in detecting a negative weight cycle. So it checks if a negative weight cycle is present, it returns that it cannot find the shortest path. But if a cycle is not present, then it will return the shortest path that it has obtained for all the vertices. So now let's have a look at the pseudocode of Bellman Ford algorithm. So we keep an array distance. So for all the vertices, we have initialized the distance to infinity. We pick a start vertex and we mark the distance of it as zero. So let's say A is our start vertex. So let's draw it here. So this step of the algorithm is known as overestimation. So Bellman Ford algorithm works in two steps. It first overestimates the distance so we have initially marked the distance to infinity. So this step is known as overestimation. And in the next step, we relax the distances. So in each cycle, we will relax the distances and at the end of all the cycles, we'll obtain the result. So this step of the algorithm is known as relaxation. So basically we are doing this operation V minus one times. So this can be considered as a dynamic programming approach. The algorithm calculates the shortest path in a bottom up manner. So it first calculates the distance which are at most one edge. So from A we are starting, it will calculate the distance for B and C. Then it calculates the distance which are at two edges separate from the start vertex. So basically the overall idea is if we have calculated shortest path with at most I edges, then an iteration over all edges guarantees to give shortest path with at most I plus one edges. Because there can be V vertices in the graph and we have marked one vertex already as a start vertex. So we do the relaxation step V minus one times. So let's first lay down all the edges here. So the edges that we have are, so we have nine edges here. So let's start with I equal to one. So for each edge UV, so let's say the edge is AB and distance of B, which is infinity is greater than distance of U is zero and plus the edge weight of AB, which is four. So infinity is greater than four. So distance of B becomes four. So let's pick the next edge, which is AC. Distance of C is infinity, which is greater than distance of A, which is zero plus weight of AC, which is two. So this is true. So distance of C becomes two. So let's pick the next edge, which is BC. 
So distance of C is 2, which is greater than distance of B is 4 and weight of B to C is 3. So this is false. We do not go inside the if condition. Then we have the next edge, which is BD. So distance of D is infinity and distance of B is 4 plus the edge weight is 2. So infinity is greater than 6. So we update the distance of D to 6. Then we have the next edge, which is BE. Now distance of E is infinity and distance of B is 4 and the edge weight of B is 3. So this is true. We update the distance of E to 4 plus 3, which is 7. So the next edge we have is CB. Now the distance of B is 4 and the distance of C is 2 and the edge weight of CB is 1. So this is true. So we update the distance of B to 3. Then we pick the next edge, which is CD. Now distance of D is 6 and distance of C is 2 and the CD edge is 4. So this is not true. We do not go inside the if condition. Next we have edge as CE. Now distance of E is 7 and distance of C is 2 and the edge weight is 5. So this is false. We do not go in the if condition. Next we have edge as ED. Now distance of D is 6 and distance of E is 7 and the edge weight is minus 5. So 6 is greater than 2. So we update the distance of D to 2. So after the first round, these are the distances which we have for each of the vertex. So you can see that we have relaxed it from infinity to 3, 2, 2 and 7. So now we have to run this cycle for V minus 1 times, which is 4 times. So now let's run it for I equal to 2. So the first edge that we have is AB. Now distance of B is 3 and distance of A is 0 and the weight of AB is 4. So this is not true. We do not go inside the if condition. Next we have as AC. Distance of C is 2, distance of A is 0 and the edge weight is 2. So this is also not true. We skip the if condition. Next edge is BC. Distance of C is 2 and distance of B is 3 and the edge weight is 3. This is not true. We do not update the distance. Next we have is BD. Now distance of D is 2 and distance of B is 3 and the BD edge is 2. So this is also not true. We do not update it. Then we have BE. Now distance of E is 7 and distance of B is 3 and the BE edge is 3. So now this is true. So we update the distance of E to 6. Next we pick the next edge which is CB. Now distance of B is 3, distance of C is 2 and CB edge is 1. So this is not true. We do not update the value. Next we pick the edge CD. So distance of D is 2, distance of C is also 2 and the edge weight of CD is 4. This is false. We do not update the distance of D. Next edge is CE. Distance of E is 6, distance of C is 2 and the CE edge is 5. So this is also not true. We proceed to the next edge which is ED. Now distance of D is 2 and distance of E is 6 and the edge weight of ED is minus 5. So this is true. So we update the distance of D to 1. So after the second cycle, these are the distances which we have for each of the vertices. Now we run it third time for i equal to 3. We again start with the first edge which is AB. So distance of B is 3, distance of A is 0 and the edge weight of AB is 4. So this is false. We proceed to the next edge, AC. Distance of C is 2, distance of A is 0 and the edge weight is 2. So this is also not true. We proceed to the next edge which is BC. Now distance of C is 2, distance of B is 3 and the BC edge is 3. This is also not true. We proceed to the next edge. The distance of D is 1 and distance of B is 3 and the BD edge is 2. This is also not true. We proceed to the next edge. Now the distance of E is 6 and distance of B is 3 and the edge weight is 3. So this is not true. We proceed to the next edge. Now we have the edge CB. Distance of B is 3 and distance of C is 2 and the edge weight is 1. So this is not true. We proceed to the next edge. Now we have CD. Distance of D is 1 and distance of C is 2 and the edge weight of CD is 4 which is false. So we proceed to the next edge. Now we have CE. Distance of E is 6 and distance of C is 2. Edge weight of C is 5. So which is not true. We proceed to the next edge which is ED. Now distance of D is 1 and distance of E is 6 and distance of ED is minus 5. So which is not true. So in the third cycle all the distances remain the same. So as per the algorithm, we'll run it V minus one times. So we'll run it for I equal to four also. So here also we'll get the same result. So the distances for all of the vertices are for B we have three. So for C we have two, for D we have one, 
and for E we have 6. So now the next step of the algorithm is to check whether there is a negative weight cycle present in the graph. So for each of the edges we check whether distance is greater than the distance u plus weight of the edge. So now let's do this for all of the edges. So for edge AB distance of B is 3 which is greater than distance of A which is 0 plus weight of AB which is 4. So this is false so we do not go in the if condition. Next we have AC the distance of C is 2 distance of A is 0 and the edge weight of C is 2. So this is also not true we do not go in the if condition. Next we have BC so distance of C is 2 which is greater than distance of B plus the edge of BC which is 3 which is also not true. Then we have BD distance of D is 1 which is greater than distance of B plus BD edge which is also not true. Then we have BE distance of E is 6 which is greater than distance of B plus the edge BE which is 3 this is also not true. Then we have CB the distance of B is 3 and distance of C is 2 and CB is 1 which is not true. Then we have CD distance of D is 1 and distance of C is 2 the edge weight of CD is 4. So this is also not true. Then we have CE distance of E is 6 distance of C is 2 and CE is 5 so this is also not true. Then we have ED distance of D is 1 and distance of E is 6 and ED is minus 5 which is also not true. So we do not go in the if condition which means no negative weight cycle exists. So that means the Bellman Ford algorithm is able to find the shortest pass distance from vertex A to all other vertices of the graph. So distances have been accumulated here which is 0, 3, 2, 1, 6. So at the last step we return this array. So that is how Bellman Ford algorithm works. If we look at the time complexity so this outer loop runs for v minus 1 times and this inner loop runs for all the edges. So the time complexity is order of v into e. So once we have understood the pseudocode of the algorithm let's have a look how we can implement it in C++. So all the code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository, link of which is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's jump into the code. So I've taken v equal to 5 for the 5 vertices of the graph. I've created a map so here I'll be saving all the edges and the weight associated with them. In this add edge function I initialize this edges map so I'm passing the edge so there is an edge from 0 to 1 with a weight of 4, an edge from 0 to 2 with a weight of 2. So in this way I store information of all the edges in this map. Then I create a vector distance which I've initialized to int max. So int max here can be thought of as infinity and 0 is the start vertex so I've marked the distance of 0 as 0. Now in this Bellman Ford algorithm I pass the map edges, the distance and the total number of vertices which are v. So now we have already done the overestimation step. So now in this for loop we do the relaxation step. So we run the outer loop for v minus 1 times and the inner loop for all the edges. So here I check if distance of v is greater than distance of u and weight then I update the distance. I run this loop for v minus 1 times so after this the distance has been updated with all the latest weights. Now after this I run a loop for all the edges. So this is to check whether a negative weight cycle is present in the graph or not. If I find such a cycle I returns false which means Bellman Ford algorithm cannot find the shortest path because a negative weight cycle is present. If no such cycle is found I return true from here. In the main function I check for the return value. If the return value is false I print that a negative weight cycle is present otherwise I print the shortest path from the start vertex 0. So let's see the output of this program. So here we can see the shortest path from 0 to 0 is 0, from 0 to 1 is 3, from 0 to 2 is 2, from 0 to 3 is 1 and from 0 to 4 is 6. So you can find the source code of this implementation in my github repository. So that's all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions please write in the comment box below. If you like my content please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.